how I am saw working here. As you know, I started off with a darker base coat. I always start with a darker base coat because for me, when it comes to making a doll, it gives you more coverage that's done, a darker coverage. So now I can use, um, I can go lighter. But before I do, I'm going to lightly sand this. But I, I'm just never prepared. Never, ever, ever, ever. I'm just going to crawl around the corner. Okay. And grab a fresh new sand sponge and oh I got the fabric to make a dress I didn't get it from stores it's, it's floral I have danced for like floral okay so as I'm doing this some of the paint is being sanded off it's fine I want it to be nice and smooth That's coming off because I'm making it more smooth. So any ridges that were up from the guest cell that was left behind is coming up with paint. Which is fine because I like it to be a nice smooth finish. So that when I start painting, um, I want to get professionalism. I want to say thank you to Diane. I read her comments, you know, and I replied. I thought it was very kind of her. You know, see the thing is, she's one of those people who... She, she's been gifted. She has the gift of being able to communicate and say things without making it sound overwhelmingly hard. But um, due to other things that were mentioned, such as from another person, their political views and things like that. I mean, I come from a families where... My family's half and half. My father's side of the family is very extremely conservative. They are very conservative and they're Republicans. Um, do I love them any less? Absolutely not. My thing is, political stuff didn't become an issue until recently. But then again, I mean, I feel like in a way someone needed to stir the pot up, stir the pot up, you know, to make some noise and get something going on. Something was going to give sooner or later. Do you see that? Yeah. So, I'm going to show you now the smoothness. And it removes some of the paint underneath like that. But it's that's not going to show up. It's going to be fine. This is why... I end up doing about five layers of paint, basically. And I had to have it super beautiful and smooth before I start doing my paintwork. But the good thing is I'm doing this in natural lighting. And I'm going to apply thin layers so my sponge is a bit damp. Um, I will show you the fabric her dress will be made of in a moment. So this looks nice. I'm going to have to mix some white in with this to make it lighter. To match um, the fabric on her. And it's drying very quickly. Ultra upside down, you can see where the white is no longer viewed. 
you can't see it. So I'm going to lay her right here. I'm going to go show you the fabric her dress is going to be made of. Mm. She's going to be very pretty, very country, uh, very floral, beautiful, vibrant floral fabric. I'm going to make her dress out of. Okay. Yes, I go around the floor. So this is, her dress is going to be made out of this fabric. And she's going to have white lace sleeves. Um, she's going to have beautiful ruffles. This this was expensive fabric. I had got at Joanne's Fabrics. Um, so yeah, this is what her dress would be made out of. It's quite vibrant and floral and beautiful. These are roses, different types of Victorian roses. So yes, her dress would be made out of this. And she's going to look amazing. She's going to be absolutely gorgeous when I'm done. Someone was asking me questions about the body or something with consistency. The body is very full, fully stuffed. But if they really want to know more information, all they have to do is go back to the videos and see when I started making this doll. And they, they will see that. They will see how I began. I use very close stitches for sewing. Okay, this is drying pretty quickly. Ah, that reminds me. I need to mix white. So I'm going to go ahead and get white and mix it. Because I want to start getting a nice, good coat of paint that's close to her skin tone. So it won't be too much longer before I can start... Um, Adding, you know, preparing her to have her face painted. Okay. Because once her face is painted and dried, I can take her outside at the balcony and, well, not balcony, but outside here on the third floor. And... Spray the sealer on. Once that sealer's done and dried, I can start sewing on her hair. But I will probably make her dress first. So once her face is drying, that's when I will start applying. Um, I mean, I will start making her clothing, her bloomers, her petticoat, all of those amazing things that people just don't make anymore on dolls. I mean. So many dolls today don't even have underwear. So see how much lighter that's coming out. I want to say thank you to Diane. I'm, I'm glad you like my craftsmanship, my work, my art. And you ordered this beautiful doll. Well, she pre-ordered her. These are, uh, what do they call it, um, made to purchase. In other words, you purchase them and then they're made. For my dolls, it, it's definitely not a rush job. But I am have to be open and honest about my health conditions. Even though I look good, um, I deal with health conditions, mostly stressful ones. But one thing can be said is that when I'm doing my work, I don't do a rush job. And I want to get these dolls done this week. Um, David, I have to do a full reroute on his Rocker Barbie. So once I'm done, be, I'm working on her when I get done with this. I'm doing a video of me cutting her hair. Her hair looks great. It's in its original shape, form what have you but we're gonna give her a super gorgeous long hair and i'll just check her neck i had to do repair on her neck this is a nice color you know matches her skin very nicely make it slightly a little more pale color not too much because 
because I wanted to blend with her skin. Another thing is here, this is how come I really just don't care about talking about political things or other things like that because I have people, you know, who view me on from both sides and I don't want anyone to feel offended. I don't want anyone to feel that, you know, what... And I really don't have any thoughts or specific beliefs on certain things. I do believe that each and every person deserves to be loved and have freedom. Um, but I also believe that everyone deserves to be loved. Like I said earlier, if we could have less hate and more love in the world. It would just be such an amazing place. Everyone deserves to be happy. And everyone deserves to be loved and experience love and what that's about. Love by family, friends, loved ones, genuine realness. Absolutely. That's it. We have plenty of nice, beautiful, smooth layers. I'm making this as smooth as possible so that I can paint her face. That's quite lovely. Perfect skin tone. So, there we go. See? Skin tone. This matches this even color. Ooh. When she gets all those clothes put on her, she is going to look so immaculate. I love the size of her. I love the size. I really, I really ought to make me one. I really should. I do have me one cut out to make. Um, I just haven't made one yet. But yeah, see the definition how she had her face shape and her neck, things like that. This is painter's tape that's wrapped around to protect the rest of the fabric. Also on the legs, painter's tape that goes all the way down there. It goes all the way down to here. To make sure my entire area is covered and protected. It's most of it in the most part. layers I'm doing this very lightly So it's nice and smooth. Okay. Ooh, so I can set her up over here where she can dry peacefully in harmony. Yes. Um, for me, that's one th another thing that's very important when I'm making a homemade doll is that 
each time I'm making one of my own personal projects or I'm making a doll that's homemade is that the doll is done in a very peaceful um, environment. Um, to me, the, the reason why that's important is because that when I make a doll, I want people to be able to feel something of a connection with their doll. Um, I want them to have that feeling of, of peace, um, but I also want them to see that I made the doll with quality, um, peace, good intentions. Um, you know, that, that's it. I feel that that's something important when you're doing something that is handcrafted, is that it's done with love, um, good intentions, open heart, open mind. Um, so it adds quality. I believe it adds quality to the product. Um, I started making homemade dolls because I wanted to create, I was calling them mountain angels. It's strange because I always envisioned myself living um, in the mountains where there was, I always envisioned that there was peace, tranquility, um, that inner peace, spirituality, and happiness. The sad part is that I did live in the mountains, but I did not experience that. Um, it wasn't because of the mountains at all. It was because of the person I was with. So I, I not perfect. I've made bad decisions, and I definitely paid the price, you know. I'm rearranging my crystals in my window. I like how they look. Other always had this fascination with crystals and I don't know, I now that you know his husband is in he works in archaeology. I mean geology and studies crystals, minerals and all of these things. Um I learned one thing how amazing it is that crystals can affect us, like selenite. This is selenite. It's real selenite. Um, a nice big chunk tower. It's all scratched up a bit from where I've read it with other crystals, but believe it or not, you can Google this. I Googled selenite, and having a piece of selenite in your home, it helps clear negative energy. So I keep it in my windowsill so the sunlight keeps them nice and charged and, you know, things like that, even moonlight. Um, I had to Google that to see if it was real or if it was something that was made up. It's amazing how, you know, our planet was created in, in such a way that everything affects us from the moon to the sun, our weather, the way things shift, our seasons, um, crystals, things of that nature, they do affect us. We are a part of this planet, and this planet is a part of us. We are all connected and intertwined. I just wish that us as human beings had more compassion and love for one another. But also respect. It's a two-way street. Respect is a two-way street. So is love. But if people could respect each other, you know... For who they are as a person, that would be nice. Oh, the magnolia tree here is blooming outside my window. Um, so today I wanted to really work on this. I wanted to get this project going. Um, We'll see how her face is by tonight. I should be able to start painting her face tonight. Um, but too, like I said, when I, while I'm doing this, I have to be at a very peaceful mindset. Um, that's most important. So tonight, I'm going to be playing some music by Cindy Rabbit. I have permission from her. She produced her album. She did all the instruments on it. And she gives me permission to use her music in my live videos. Um, if you can, Google Cindy Rabbit. She's on YouTube. Uh, so is her music. 
but I encourage you to buy buy her. I love her CD in flight. And when I say Cindy, it's C I N D Y Ribbit R I B E T. Um, she plays Hermit Dulcimer. Oh my gosh. She lives in the country, beautiful area, mm. woods. I love the woods. Um, I am such a country girl at heart. And, yeah. But, uh, probably won't be able to do that. Live like that. Okay, this is drying. Let me scoop this down some. So, yeah. Um, but, yep, I go for my... I have 30 days. 30 days. Probably starting Friday. To find a place with my voucher in the Raleigh area. And I'm telling you, I've been contacting my credit card companies today, the ones who are open. Um, I've stopped automatic payments, contacting them about different payment arrangements due to my health. This way I don't have to focus on that because this way I can have a break from payments and take maybe there we go that's beautiful and smooth exactly perfect that's perfectly smooth mmm that's gonna look so good all right now I'm gonna set her over to the side where everything can dry perfectly and hopefully tonight we will give her a face yep so tonight we can give her a face. Yay. <sighs> I'm just enjoying sitting here in front of the window. And I'm just looking out the window. And it's kind of like peace. Be still. I'm having one of those moments. I felt sleepy, but I feel I feel calm, collected. Um, I got to a gastro gastroenterological type doctor on Thursday. Um, fifteenth, September fifteenth is coming. It's coming. Uh, yeah, so I was in a musical. That was going to be my gift to myself, and it is. I just got the email as a reminder, so I was able to do that wallet thing on my thing where it has a little bar scan code, and I have VIP seating in the orchestra seat. I will be in the front of that. Um, I'm excited. Um, I want to take an Elsa doll with me, of course. Yeah. If I've done nothing else, I hope that so many of you that are going through things, I hope you actually seen my life experience inspires you to stay strong and to go through what you're getting, going through. But I have to tell you that um, I grew up as a child. I went to a Baptist church, but I always believed in the power of prayer. That is something I've always believed in. I also believe in other things as well. I believe in prayer. I believe in God. I believe God created all things. I believe in the power of healing crystals as well. As well as um, the power of healing in prayer. It's our emotions and the things we put into it. I also believe in the power of comfort. 
years when I was starting YouTube, I was making homemade dolls and I wanted to provide something to people that could provide them with comfort. A beautiful comfort doll to have to somehow provide something of uh, fulfillment, um, enjoyment that that's something extra they don't have in everyday life. Because I get comfort from dolls. I have dolls I made. I had this huge Holly Hobby doll and I really think I'm going to take her out of storage because she was a labor of love and I miss her and I'm, I want to bring her here. She's huge and I love her. But I'm, I'm so thankful I've had the privilege to make a comfort doll for Raphael and now Diane. Um, I do hope I get the opportunity to make more for other people. That would be great. Um, it does take some time. I don't have any that are pre-made. So, but we'll see what happens in the future. We'll see. Let's wait and see what happens in the near future. Um, I, I've worked so hard this year to be mentally, emotionally um, stable and in a good place. That was my main goal this year and I have really been tested immensely. So I may have to continue the self-care. It's a journey. Um, it is not easy. It's Life isn't easy. For some people it is. For some of us it's more difficult. Especially with, you know, things like family, relationships, um, like, things like that. Oh, she's trying perfectly. Oh, Diane, she's looking perfect. Yeah, that's nice and smooth. So, while uh, this is drawing now for a few hours, um, later tonight, it looks like I may go live and give her a face. I'm looking around for a light. I don't have, oh my. You know what? I think I may need to, I may need to go to the Dollar Tree store. And get two of those lamps like I had. Because I don't have those here. I think it's in Morganton. And so yeah, I may need to go and grab two of those. If my mom wants to go. But anyway, thank you all for joining me for this moment. Diane, I do hope you like this fabric. Um, it is a very nice, high quality fabric. I promise you. It's very satiny feeling. It's thick. Um, but it's going to look amazing on your doll. Um, I'm going to use some of these colors to really pop with when I do our face paint. Um, maybe give her, make her eyes like a blue violet, a little blue, little violet. Um, as for her lips, we will do a darker shade of fuchsia on the outside. Let it get lighter toward the inside. I do different shades and things. This is hand painted. Like I'm, the doll's face is going to be a canvas because I've applied gesso. If you notice a canvas that has a rough finish to it um, when you first purchase it because it has gesso on it. And then you paint your masterpiece or you can sand it before you paint it, but it depends on what paint you use. Um, that's what I've done with this. I took fabric, which canvas is a type of fabric. I applied many layers of gesso and I applied many layers of acrylic paint and then with a beautiful smooth finish and um, I'm looking forward to giving her a face. Um, I hope to do that tonight and then once that's done and it's dry I will um, use my clear spray sealer on her face to seal everything and make it nice and beautiful and shiny and um, then well, all of the, in between, I'm working on um, David's thighs as well. <sighs> so, yeah.
that's, oh, I need to go do that now before they close. Okay, bye. Thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up, okay? Cool. I gave you one. You give me one, okay? <laughs>